<laughs> Holy crow, ladies and gentlemen. This is hilarious. I'm just finding it out right now. It's just breaking news. Breaking news. Hope you stud muffins are well. But some dude is suing Twitch for 20 Five million dollars over suggestive streamers like Alinity and Pokemane and more dudes. This is not a joke, man. So based on court documents, the plaintiff, his name is Eric Estavio, Estavio, who has previously sued Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo, and Blizzard. Dude, this guy likes to sue. Submitted the formal complaint to court uh, seeking a lawsuit and Twitch itself was served an official summons on June 19th, just a few days ago. According to the complaint filed in the Superior Court of California, Estadio suffers from several medical issues that require him to rely entirely on the internet for all of his entertainment, as well as OCD and sex addiction, which the complaint claims Twitch only makes worse. Whoa! Twitch has extremely exasperated his condition by displaying many sexually suggestive women streamers through Twitch's twisted programming netcode, the complaint states, making it nearly impossible for the plaintiff to use Twitch without being exposed to such sexual content. Estavio, who's following 786 female streamers and zero male streamers, according to the complaint, bro. First of all, why you not follow eight thoughts? I stream my Twitch once every three months. You know, I make it memorable, and I'm very attractive, and you should be following me. I will help you. According to the complaint, argues that the site doesn't offer a way to filter streamers by gender. Therefore, he's forced to choose a game and or category to watch, with thumbnails showing these scantily clad women alongside men Eight thoughts. I mean, I wear tank tops, guys, so I'm not helping this dude's situation in any way whatsoever. My bad. In addition, Twitch also takes advantage of the plaintiff and many other sexually addicted viewers by f allowing them to subscribe, donate, or pay bits to these women streamers. It continues. Twitch uses the immediate gratification reward system against their sexually addiction viewers no different than how a casino would. The complaint goes on to list several female streamers it claims continues to expose viewers who just want to see people playing video games on Twitch, but instead get exposed to sexually addictive material and content on a consistent and regular basis daily. These include Amaranth, Kui Kwako, St. Peach, Jade the Jaguar, Pink Sparkles, yeah, she's a stripper, Valeria 7K, Daniela uh, Azuage, Lil Chipmunk, Yaris 2, the Ray Chol, Christy Pride, Sonya Shield, Gavrika, I haven't even heard of these thoughts. Mizzy Rose, Mizzy Rose sounds like a stripper name. Welcome to the stage, Mizzy Rose. K Pike Fashion, Alinity, yeah, the cat thrower. QT Cinderella, that sounds like a stripper name. Pokimane, that sounds like a dork. Sounds like a real bitch. Velvet Seven, Loser Fruit, I like that name. Sasha Gray, definitely sounds like a stripper name. This is hilarious. So, what does. Estavio won out of this lawsuit. For one, he wants to see every streamer he listed above permanently banned for violating Twitch term services. Boom! Along with $25 million to be split between the plaintiff and other Twitch Prime Turbo subscribers with any left over going to various charities. Dude, this guy is on it. He's not even taking the money. He's giving it to everybody. He's, a, he's, he's stealing from the thoughts and giving it to the, the simps. Whether or not the lawsuit will go anywhere in court remains to be seen, but according to court documents, Twitch has officially was officially rather served with a summons by the court on June 19th, so they will have to respond in some way or other. Damn, this is hilarious. My God, guys, this this is uh, this is this is peak 2020, boys. This dude's suing Twitch for thoughts, and I don't think he's gonna win. I don't know. I mean, it sounds pretty like plausible. Like, who knows? Twenty twenty is really hitting differently out here nowadays. But man, I, I'd be hilarious if they have to go and like through evidence and it goes to court. You got like Alinity throwing her cat and spit vodka and Amaranth doing like beach pool parties. But yeah, no, these chicks, all these chicks, as far as the ones I know on here that I mentioned, dude, they're just strippers. They're strippers, and you're paying money and you're watching a live stream. I mean, it's free. I don't, I don't, it's not held behind a paywall. It's not like uh, other websites where you have to pay money to see some, but like, bro, they're for sure thoughts and they're for sure just selling, a lot of them just selling sexuality. I mean, like, you know, they don't have the greatest personalities. I don't know a lot of these people on here, but like the ones that I did mention that I, that sparked my, uh, my dopamine receptors to go off a little bit, like pink sparkles. Dude, she just dances with her fake tatas and like, it's, it's stripping. It's all it is. Or the body painters. It's crazy. So good luck, uh, 
uh, good luck there, buddy. This is hilarious. So, anyways, man, Twitch is getting stewed. It's going to be amazing. Pokemon and Linity, all these thoughts are going down. They're all going to get banned. See you in a to be you. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe. And last but not least, the most importantly, stay the walk. Question authority. And go to the Hockey Cracker, Reptilian Shapeshifter, bring it down.